Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another problem on calculating a derivative where we need to combine the product rule and the chain rule. Now this is a really good problem because one like it usually turns out to be a question on tests or exams in Calculus 1. So let's go through it. Now if we take a look at our function here, we have a product of two functions where each of them is a composite. We have a function raised to a power for both factors there. So we're gonna be applying the product rule and then follow that. When we differentiate each of these, that's where we'll be applying the chain rule. Now to speed up the work, we're gonna use the chain rule in the special case, what we call the general power rule. And that's a way to calculate a derivative for a function raised to a power. So let's go ahead and identify our function here as a product f of x times g of x. So we'll call the first function f of x, that'll be x cubed plus 1 squared. And then g of x, that'll be the second function, which is x squared plus 1 cubed. Now to calculate your individual derivatives, f prime and g prime, that's where we're going to be using the general power rule. And again, this is the chain rule, but it's a lot more efficient here. So if we go ahead and calculate f prime with the general power rule, we start off, we bring the power 2 down. We keep our inside the same. We subtract 1 from the power. And now because we're applying the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. And here, that's 3x squared. All right, we can simplify and clean this up a little bit. Notice we can rearrange those factors and write this as 6x squared times x cubed plus 1. And leave it factored like that. You don't need to multiply that out. All right, next we're going to calculate g prime again using the general power rule. So we're going to start by bringing the power 3 down. So we'll get 3 and then keep the inside the same x squared plus 1, but we now subtract 1 from that power. The outer power is now 2. And again, we multiply by the derivative of the inner function because we're applying the chain rule. And the inner function here, that differentiates to 2x. All right, we can simplify this, rearrange your factors, and we can rearrange this as 6x times x squared plus 1 squared. All right, now we just need to combine our pieces back together. Keep in mind, we're identifying our function as a product. So your work here, with all four pieces here, we're going to be combining these back together with the product rule. So let's write down our derivative, y prime. And we take the first part for the product rule, it's going to be f prime, and we're going to use the simplified version here, 6x squared times x cubed plus 1. All right, so that's f prime, and that's going to multiply g, which is x squared plus 1 cubed. And then we add to that f of x, which is x cubed plus 1 squared, and now we multiply by g prime, which we've simplified as 6x times x squared plus 1 squared. All right, now we're basically done calculating derivatives here. We applied the product rule and we've applied the chain rule, but the directions that will probably be stated in your Calculus 1 course, like here, you're expected to calculate a derivative and simplify it. And we can actually simplify this considerably. Now, one thing that you do not want to do here is multiply all that out. It's not wrong to do that, but it's not going to be fun. Instead, we're going to notice we have a lot of common factors, and we're just going to factor this instead of multiplying it out. So if we take a look at all the terms here, notice each of them 
basically to the left and right of this addition sign. Each of those terms has a factor of six. They have a factor at least of x. We have x squared here, but x, we can always include the smaller power for the greatest common factor. We also have factors of x cubed plus one. And we also have factors of x squared plus one, but now the smaller power, x squared plus one squared. So if we write down the greatest common factor here, and we take it term by term, we have a factor of six x. We also have here a factor of x cubed plus one. We're using the smaller power, x cubed plus one for our greatest common factor. And we also have x squared plus one squared, the smaller power. And we're gonna simplify by basically factoring out the greatest common factor from each term. The terms here are to the left of the addition and the right of the addition sign here. So let's take our time with that. We're factoring out that whole greatest common factor, so 6x times x cubed plus one times x squared plus one squared. And everything that's left over that we're not factoring out from each of those terms, we're gonna include here in parentheses or brackets. And let's just go ahead and take it term by term. So what didn't we factor out? Well, we factored out six X. We're gonna be left with one power of X there. All right, what else are we left with? We factored out X squared plus one squared, but there's X squared plus one cubed. So we'll be left with one power there of x squared plus one. All right, and now we can go to the other term that's to the right of the addition sign. And again, we're gonna factor out the greatest common factor. So we've factored out six x already. We factored out x cubed plus one, but we have x cubed plus one squared. So it'll be one factor of that. And be careful here, we actually, for our greatest common factor, factored out x squared plus one squared. So that term, when you factor out x squared plus one squared, that'll just leave you with one there. All right, so from the last term here, the only thing that's left after factoring out the greatest common factor is a single factor of x cubed plus one. So we can close our parentheses or brackets there and we can just go ahead and simplify the inside there. We're gonna keep all these terms out front factored, no need to multiply them out. And here we can simplify the inside basically just by distributing. So if we just go ahead and write that down below, distribute there, looks like we're gonna get x cubed plus x. And we have these two terms there, x cubed plus one, and we can just combine those as two x cubed, and then plus x plus one. And that is everything inside the parentheses or brackets here. So let's go ahead and write down our final simplified answer for the derivative. We have everything that we factored out front, the greatest common factor, so that's six x, times x cubed plus one, times x squared plus one, squared. And I'm just gonna write it with square brackets there, just to keep it consistent here. Everything inside the square brackets, that simplified to two x cubed, plus x, plus one. And that, is our derivative that we calculated with the product rule and the chain rule. And to make this go as quick and efficient as possible, instead of applying the normal chain rule, identifying the outer and inner functions, we used the special case for the chain rule, the general power rule. And that made this problem probably as simple as it gets. Hope you enjoyed this problem. 
Hope you're learning how to combine differentiation rules together. If you're enjoying the content, support the channel, like and subscribe.